So next time you see this so-called weed, remember, it's been a medicine, chest, and food source for generations. This is smart weed. You can recognize it with these pinkish, whitish, sort of flowered clusters at the top. You'll also notice it from these long, narrow leaves. If you look at the stem of this plant, it's got a very smooth stem. It's a little bit bumpy right at the uh, notches here okay or the elbows i don't know what term you want to use it's got a lot of names but it's got a reddish stem as you can see indigenous tribes use this plant in many ways the cherokee brewed it as a tea for headaches and fevers the iroquois used it for cramps and stomach pain the chippewa burned the leaves as a smoke remedy for colds and the dakota sioux even chewed the leaves for toothaches some tribes also burned it as an insect repellent and collected the seeds for food Today, smartweed still has uses. Herbalists sometimes use it for stomach or menstrual pain, and its seeds are a valuable food source for ducks and geese. It also helps protect the soil in wetlands.